This is how they create the war. You have again the pyramid system. Social services is a pyramid, a hierarchical pyramid. The police is, lawyers are, judges are, politicians are, the media are, all of it. The medical side, the, the doctors, the coroner's offices, they're all part of these structures. And up here, they all eventually fuse into the same group, the same ring of people, controlling force. And what they do is they put in these pyramids people in the positions of power who are in the ring or in the, the, the club. You do not have to control everybody in social services to stop investigations or to enforce investigations to take children away for no good reason. You just have to control the level of social services that makes those decisions. And of course, once you're in a position in these pyramids where you are hiring and firing, what you do is you hire people of like mind and after a period of time, then a lot of these people are in these organizations at different levels. You don't have to control every policeman. There's so many genuine policemen in this world, but they don't get in, into the positions of power overwhelmingly. The geese guys do. And, and therefore, they dictate whether something's investigated or not, or whether someone is targeted to pin them with a charge that is completely unjustifiable. Um, same with the media. You control that. We're not covering that story. Politicians, oh, no, I'm not talking about that. I'm not investigating that. Oh, no. This is how it's done. This is David Berkowitz, uh, the son of Sam Multiple Killer in New York, who from prison after he was convicted said that he, was, he did it, yes, but he was part of a satanic ring that was with him. And he said this, quite rightly, Satanists are peculiar people. They aren't ignorant peasants or semi-literate natives. Rather, their ranks are filled with doctors, lawyers, businessmen, and basically highly responsible citizens. They are not a careless group who are apt to make mistakes but they are secretive and bonded together, the cement, by a common need and desire to meet out havoc on society. It was Alistair Crowley who said, I want blasphemy, murder, rape, revolution, anything bad. And now we're having around the world, not least in this country, but America too and other countries, we're having the state stealing our children on the most extraordinary scale with the most extraordinary excuses. There was one lady who was, uh, came to light, not many do compared with the ones that are going on because of the secret family courts where this stuff goes on in secret and can't be reported. And they say, oh, it's to protect the children. No, it's to protect the pedophiles and the Satanists. That's what the secret is for. And this lady, here and her husband, had spent 38,000 pounds on uh, uh, fertility treatment so they could have children. She had twins, uh, I think it was twins. And, and she made a joke when social services came round, when the, the baby came out of, um, out of hospital, and, and she said, oh, it's ru uh, Bertha's ruined my figure. They took her children away. And then when she furiously uh, resisted, they said, the mother has anger problems, which are a danger to the child. It's unbelievable the number of children that have been taken away from their parents for no reason. This guy, Tim Yeo, a Conservative MP, uh, just before the last election, said in Parliament, uh, using parliamentary privilege, he accused his local council of kidnapping a nine-week-old baby from parents. But it's the tip of an iceberg and a gathering iceberg. All over the world, I say in the book, I've looked at America as well, it's happening there. And what did Aldous Huxley, um, the uh, Fabian prophet in Brave New World, talk about? The fact that uh, children were going to be taken away from parents. Parents were going to become uh, no longer, not even relevant. They're no longer even part of society. And the state was going to take control and bring up all children. And that is what's, uh, where they're moving towards. And this guy, Ed Balls, my God, whoever named him was, was psychic. Um, <laughs> he was children's minister up to the last uh, recent election overseeing, taking more and more power away from parents, giving it to schools and authorities. And this guy is a former chairman of the executive of the Fabian Society and still a leading light in it. Coordinates to the cement. Now, this might be controversial. I don't give a damn, really, because, you know, we've reached the point here where we've got to start saying what is and not running away from it. Um, what I'm about to say now, what I'm about to say now, virtually no one else, there are some, 
uh, and some that, are, you know, uh, uh, some of them are characters I don't really would like to spend an evening with, to be honest, and some are. But um, most people, the overwhelming majority of people in what we call conspiracy research, won't touch this subject, right? Well, I'm going to bloody touch it because I'm sick of it, and I'm sick of people being um, frightened and intimidated into not touching it. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed today's segment. Leave a comment in the comment section about what you think about today's video. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you in the next one.